Hello. Greetings. It's time. We're here for some sorcery. I couldn't wait to play the game. <laughs> I, I literally could not wait the amount of time it was going to take us to play this game. Yeah. I was so excited about six, it. Six or more months or so. Yeah, so we're going to check uh, out the yeah, I, months. It's not a thing we usually do. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually glad that there is one, right? Because this is kind of more of a yeah. Try before you buy situation, uh, which right? is great. Which, I mean, I think any yeah. uh, if if you're a game in the year 2022 and you do not embrace the existence of digital tools like Tabletop Simulator, you're a fucking cop. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, come on, yeah, yeah, you're 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 asking to be attacked. Um, but they do embrace it. They have, in fact support it, which is great. Yeah. So they uh, uh, provide this yeah. Tabletop Sim mod with uh, four decks. There's one for each element that exists right now. Please, Edward. He's excited for it. Please. And he's excited for this explanation. Yeah. So I'm going to go over the game. Uh, Nathan hasn't read the rules I have, so uh, I will explain it a bit. Essentially, we are each an avatar, or we have our sorcerers. There are uh, more avatars in the game than just these four. Uh, more, I guess, rather more sorcerers in the game. Our sorcerers happen to be avatars mm. for this situation. So, the concept of the game is we're going to be sort of building this map out as we go. It's a, the, the game takes place on this 4x5 grid. And what, how we're going to do that is we're going to be placing these atlas cards. And if you're familiar with stuff like magic, this also for, sort of functions as our mana base. Uh, the more atlas cards we have out and that we control, the more mana we have access to to play more powerful spells. So to start out, you can only play an atlas underneath where your avatar starts, which is in the bottom middle space. And to play an atlas on your turn, you're going to have to tap your avatar. So you're limited to playing one a turn in that sort of sense. Your avatar also has uh, the ability to tap to draw a site. So you have two separate decks over here. You have your atlas deck, which is full of sites, and you have your spell book, which is all your spells. That's minions, that's relics, it's uh, spells and auras. So as you have more, as you get more mana, as the atlas grows, you can then play more powerful spells. So like right now, I would have access to three total mana, and if you see uh, the far right of a of a sight card, there is a, a little triangle with the the line through it. That is my threshold. That symbol represents the earth element. So. A spell requires a certain threshold of an element to be able to be played. Think of it sort of like uh, mana symbols in Magic, right? So, for instance, this unicorn uh, requires three total mana and one of uh, one Earth threshold. So, as long as I have access to one Earth threshold, then I can play this unicorn. Uh, unicorn is four power, which is essentially its attack and health. If you're sim like familiar with Keyforge, that's that's how Keyforge works, right? And it has no, nothing in its tech box. Uh, cave Trolls are two mana, requiring two Earth Threshold, and three power, and they have a burrowing keyword. And we'll go over the keywords kind of as we play the game. I think it's probably the best way to handle those. This uh, Ret Rattanus Titan is six cost, and he requires three Earth Threshold. Seems very powerful. Uh, Genesis on him is is come to playability essentially. So let's, let me see if I can find a non creature card. Berry, this is a spell. So burrow a minion or a relic on a site without water. So you just kind of bury a minion, and if a minion doesn't have burrowing, it can't get out of underneath the site. So it's kind of like trapped there until something Pretty saves fun. it. Yeah. Is that the uh, the that used to be archaic magic terminology called berry. Uh, if you find cards from like revised edition and stuff yeah. like that, it'll say berry target creature or whatever. Um, so but to, but, uh, in this game, it means literally throw them literally under the put earth. Them underneath. It's like put them underneath the site. They're down there. They're under there yeah. forever. There's like whole terminology like that. I'm trying to figure out why my camera is laggy. I think it's because. Let me do this. And to answer your question, Zerpu, yes, there are dice because um, there are uh, 
you'll if you pay if you look very closely to the map, the map spaces are numbered one through twenty. Um, so if you have to de- use a, uh, a a twenty-sided die to determine a random location in the game, but they're probably not rubber yeah. dice. I think yeah. they're just they don't they probably oh, yeah, don't, they yeah, don't well, look like rubber I, so, to me, do they? No, they, uh, like they are dice. truly random. They, they are purple, uh, they are like purple. the rubber dice that we use on the channel typically. So, but these don't these don't go flying around the map. Yeah. Okay, here's a here's a relic. A relic is essentially like an artifact. Uh, the relics come into play on any place that you have uh, control of, or that you have a unit, and they have they can be either carried by units. Uh, this one does not is not carried by units. It's essentially, like activated by a unit, and it can do like do some damage. But we'll talk about like effects of things kind of as we play the games. So. I think the best way to just play this game is, or to learn the game, is just kind of like start playing it and ask questions as you go. So yeah, let's I have just a, do that. Uh, a general idea. I guess the setup. I'm not too like. Yeah, the setup is just randomly determine who goes first. We each have 20 life. The object of the game is to reduce your opponent's health to zero, and then I will now roll this d this d20. Seven. I rolled seven. A 16. Okay. Alright, so I will go first. I, uh, so we're going to shuffle our decks. We have two separate decks. We have our Spellbook and we have our Alice. We're going to draw three from each deck. And you do have the option to take a mulligan. Where you would shuffle your all of your cards back into your decks and then just draw a new hand. If you take a mulligan, your opponent gets to opt one. Essentially. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, it's basically a splits. I think I keep his hand. I think I'll probably keep as well. I... I'm still trying to figure out why my, my video is laggy. I bet you TTS just drains resources on the computers. Yeah, I think it does. Let's see if this like this back background maybe. I think it's freaking out. Uh, Yo-Yo is saying it looks fine on screen. All right, fine. I'll stop freaking out about it then. Okay. Yeah. You're not looking at me anyway. Look at the cards. <laughs> look at these beautiful. Look at this beautiful. Art. Look at this beautiful art. It's amazing. So good. So good. Um, I I don't necessarily know that I should be keeping this hand. Uh, but I do have like this guy, and these are these are of a rarity, which means that I only have one copy of them in my deck. So that's something, right? So uh, I get first turn. Normally, at the start of your turn, you would draw a card, and you choose which deck you draw from, either your atlas or spellbook. So uh, it sort of like gets around the possibility of being mana screwed that you would get in Magic, where I'm not drawing any lands, or I draw too many lands. You draw as many lands as you want to draw, which is cool. Uh, so start of game we'll make sure we're doing all of the start of game stuff i'm pretty sure we did okay yep plays avatars turn first player shuffle decks draw initial hand done 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 all done, right so done. start phase is untapped so you untap all your stuff at the start of your turn uh you draw a card skip that if you're the first player start step add the start of turn abilities trigger so main phase during the main phase, you can do any number of these things any number of times, as long as you can do the things, and can pay, pay the cost of those things. Yeah. yeah. Cast spells, activate abilities, interact with relics, move with a minion, attack with a minion. And then you have your end phase where you're moved, uh, rest step, move damage from all minions, and then end step until the end of turn abilities and turn past your opponent. So, uh, it is my first turn. I will tap my avatar to play or draw a site. So I'm going to play a site. We're going to play this rustic village down here and it says genesis summon a one power foot soldier here so that's a token so i got this little guy it's hanging out just a one power dude ordinary mortals marches forth and uh that's my turn uh-huh. all right so my turn i draw one yep you can choose uh, i'm deck. gonna draw 
I'm gonna draw a spell because. Oh, actually, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I do have another thing to play because that was not. I still have a mana then at that point, and I can play this here uh, boar. This wild boars. It's one mana for uh, two power. And this rustic village gives me an earth resource, so I have a, a threshold to be able to play it. So it's hanging out okay. here as well. And it, uh, creatures uh, do have summoning right. sickness, so they can't activate the turn and they come into play. Okay. Uh, I am going to tap my avatar, and I'm going to play Bespin, the Cloud City. Oh, shiz. Okay. Um, so this is a unique sight, lofty and ever fleeting. Uh, it's got two threshold on here that says, once during your turn, I may move this Cloud City to an adjacent void. Okay. Um, so. And when you move a site, that anything that's on that site is carried with it. Okay, so I can, I can carry my, my avatar of wind can fly around in my cloud city on the map now, right? That's right. But uh, also, yeah, she, right. Says, she says, once on your turn, if you are on a wind site, you may fly to a nearby site. So she's getting free movement all over the place. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, all right, so that's my turn. Okay. Um, I don't have anything to play for. I have one mana because I have one site. Is that correct? That's right. So if you only if you have one mana, then that's all you're, that's all you're doing, probably. Okay. Yeah, the art's right. just incredible. Then... We're gonna be gazing at this art just for the whole stream. That's great. Even on the like the donks, the boars look great. All right, so it's my turn. Start my turn. Untap. I will draw from my spell book. Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm gonna play. Tap my avatar. I'll play another simple village, which summons a one power foot soldier. I will tap my boars to move them. I'll tap this foot soldier to move it as well. Okay. Uh, if there is a... Things can move and attack, by the way. They have to be in the same site, I'm guessing. But they can only attack things in the same site. Or okay. they, they can like they can move and then attack something in the site they're at. They can't attack and then move. So they can't attack something okay. in the site they're in and then move. They can move and then attack. And, and if you, you're in the same site as something else, you can just attack it. You then, can just right? attack it, yeah. So okay. uh if it is a we'll we'll get into what like an attack looks like once we can actually do an attack. So do right. we, we trade back and forth, like damage back and forth, like magic? It's simultaneous attack. Or simultaneous damage. Simultaneous. Okay. Yes, the, yeah. So can the other player do anything on the other player's turn or not? There are quick spells which let you uh, react to things. I think there are few. There's there's not that many quick spells in the game, but that's mostly like if your opponent does this, then you do this. Uh, so they're reactionary, and they're not like hold up and wait for for um, priority windows and pass priority windows back and forth. I don't think that's happening that much in this game. You can also react uh, if an opponent makes an attack. You can react to to block that attack. So if you have untapped units adjacent to where an attack's taking place, you can tap them and move to block that attack. So notably, those units need to be untapped to be able to block. Okay, and then um, so my uh, so I'll untap. Right, it's my turn. Yep. Untap, draw. I'll draw one from the spell. Okay. And um, so I am going to tap my avatar to play the Gothic Tower. Okay. Um, and this says Genesis gain one mana until the end of the turn. So does this mean I have mana. three mana? Yep. That's right. All right. Uh, so I have the two threshold. Now, uh, my question is, could I move my Cloud City over to here? Once like, during your over turn. To there? You can move that Cloud City. Because I've got the thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Um, and so it's totally fine for this gap to exist, it's right? Fine. Yep. Okay. You just have um, to play it ad so adjacent to one you already control. So now you can play ah, like to, okay. to there if so you can... wanted, even. Okay. And so nearby means adjacent. Is that correct? Nearby is uh, anywhere nearby. Okay. So uh, anything that touches it on any corner or side. Yeah. I think adjacent is just orthogonal. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So then I can play something to this Gothic Tower then, right? Yep. yep. So I've got three mana. I will play the Apprentice Wizard. Oh. Um, he's a spellcaster, and it says, Genesis, draw a spell. 
So I draw one from the spell book. That's is right. that correct? Yep. All right, so I'll draw one. Is there a limit on the hand size? Uh, there's not. Okay. All right, then that's that. That is my turn. Okay. So I'll untap my stuff. I will draw from the spell book. What? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I will play, tap to play this holy ground. In Genesis, nearby allied avatars and minions gain plus one power until the turn. Um, so all these guys are okay. plus one power. However, they can't get to any of your stuff. So uh, I'm going to yeah. exhaust the board and move it there. I will. I'll leave these foot soldiers hanging out here for now. I'm gonna read. I need to read on relics real quick. No reason. Okay. No reason. No reason. <laughs> no biggie. Good thing we have this handy dandy rule book baked into the mod. Very baked cool. into the app. Yeah. So you have uh, three men up your turn. Yes. Uh, relics power problems. Uh, a player may conjure a relic either on a site they control or any, on any site occupied by their avatar or minion. When a player conjures a relic, they may have that relic come into play as born by their avatar or a minion on the same site. A relic that is not born by an avatar or minion is considered abandoned. Only abandoned relics can be picked up. Relic minions cannot be picked up. When a minion dies, it automatically drops any relics it's bearing. Relics can be burrowed, submerged, and abandoned relics in the void are destroyed. A born relic follows its bearer's condition tapped or untapped and is always untapped when dropped. Okay, so I can basically play a relic attached to something and it carries it until it dies. But okay. to pick it up, they uh, I mean, we have to tap to pick it up. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting spatial movement and like positioning stuff in the game, which I like a lot. Uh, so I have three mana. Yeah, I don't have anything to do with it, so I am done. This is... This has a, a Summoner's Wars-esque yeah. feel to it. It's like Summoner Wars um, mixed with magic mixed with Guardians. Yeah. Okay, so that's your turn? Yep. All right. Uh, so now the question is, do I... Yeah, I'll draw one more from my spell book. Next turn I may start drawing uh, lands just so I got stuff to play. Um, all right, so... I am going to tap my avatar to play the Lone Tower over here. And this says Genesis Gosh. gain one mana until okay. the end of the turn, right? Yep. Um, so That's I'm going to use too. my cloud. I'll put that on my wall. That's so cool. I'm going to use my cloud city to move back over here. Okay. And I've got four mana. So I am going to play Ball Lightning. Oh, no. So I, my spellcaster launches this ball in a cardinal direction. So I'm going to launch it straight ahead. Yes. Okay. And um, it deal, uh, yes, so starting at the wild boars, um, it deals six damage to the first avatar or minion it hits. Excess damage carries on to whatever it hits here or onto following sites. So um, it's going to gun through your wild boars for two. It's going to gun through the foot soldiers for two. And then it's got two last damage that will go flying into your avatar. Okay. I'll take two. That was awesome. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm going to move my apprentice wizard to here. This fucking guy. Look at this guy. Look at this nerd. Um, okay. Uh, I should note that the object of the game, like I said, is to get your opponent to zero health. However, at that point, they become on death's door. And when they hit zero health, they're immune to damage for the rest of the turn. You then have to do direct damage to the opponent's avatar to kill them outright. So keep that in mind. All right. So starting my turn, I will untap. I'll draw from my atlas another rustic village. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play this rustic village here. And tap to do that. I get a foot soldier. Where did his friends go? And then I'll use my four mana to play the Queen of Midland. In the start of your turn, this queen is on any of the two middle sites, draw a cider spell. So, Ooh. Pretty good if she can live through the turn somehow. Actually, I'll play her here. She's on a middle. That's a middle site, right? Any of the two middle. No, this is a middle site. These are the two middle sites. Those are the two so middle sites. So she has yeah. to be here. 
to be effective. All right, I'm done. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll draw one from the Atlas. Um, ah. All right, so I can move once on my turn if I'm on a wind site, which I am. Um, I can move to a nearby site. Yep. So I'm going to use uh, my avatar to move to here, and then I'm going to tap it to play the mountain pass. So ground minions can't traverse this pass if there's one here already. So only um, one minion can be on it at a time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this gives me a nice defensive position. Interesting. Um, so I've got... Yeah, these, uh, are, the these are the starters. From the yeah. TTS mod. Um, Alright, so now I've got four mana. Um, so I will play the Spectral Stalker here. Now, not only is this art awesome, uh, this has an ability called Voidwalk, which actually allows it to move outside the game zone. Yeah, so it can exist outside, outside of, sites, which normally if it a minion exist, exists out, is, is outside, hanging out, out here, it is dead. Yeah, so um, since it's a ghost, it can, it can walk through the spaces uh, that mortals fear to tread. So An ordinary spirit stalks this neighborhood. Yeah. There's HP Lovecraft um, on there. What the heck? That's pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, and in this instance, HP Lovecraft is referring to Brooklyn. <laughs> All right. And it is uh, your turn. The art, man. Okay. Um, I'll untap. I get Queen's ability. So I'm going to draw one from the Atlas and one from the uh, deck so spellbook. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I will play this Rift Valley. And it says, slide a surrounding site to an adjacent void. So I'm going to slide oh. this mountain pass here. And that carries with it the stalker. Okay, so the void walk in that instance does mean that he does move. No, right? it, uh, anything, anytime a site uh, is moved, anything occupying that site moves with it. Okay, so he's occupying the site. Yeah, but if that site was destroyed, he would just hang out in the void. Okay. So that's cool. And then I have five mana currently. I'm going to play this uh, Phalanx somewhere. Maybe it just protects the queen. It essentially protects the queen if it's there, too, because I can tap to defend. So I think that's this probably... This Phalanx fine. dies without dealing damage back if it attacked from the flank or rear. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so if you if you attack it from the side, it's just dead. They can only attack from the same site or forward. Yeah. Okay. So that was three mana. I have one mana le or two mana left. I think I am done. I don't really care to move this these queen or anything. So, all right. Uh, your turn. All right. So I am going to draw from the atlas. Um, oh, dope. Okay. Uh, my avatar's untapped. I am going to use the avatar to play the Lone Tower. Man, this seems pretty good. Okay, so I've got six mana. Um, I 
You probably want to play stuff like at the bottom of the spot oh, there. Yeah, at. fair enough. Because I think I think uh, locations can get pretty heavy with stuff. All right, so I've got six mana. Uh, I'm going to move this guy into the void over here. Okay. No, the My... phalanx. Yeah, their only weakness. Each nearby Earth site. Uh, man, attacking your avatar seems real hard. Yeah. Like, your your avatar is actually a beast in combat, right? Yeah. So I mean, she's like five power right now. Yeah. Um. Maybe I should be leveraging my. Uh. Well, so like your uh, your wizard could now attack this undefended site if you wanted to. That's uh, that's something to consider. So it would do damage, right? Yeah. So if you if you tap and move and attack this site since it's undefended, um, it would just do one damage to me. Yeah, I have to move into it. So, but I would be vulnerable for your queen to attack back, right? I guess she yeah, would die. But she, yeah, she would die because you do damage simultaneously, and I obviously don't want my okay. queen to die. Okay, so sure, I'll uh, I'll have him move in and attack this holy ground. You yep. still and at Tio's point, um, do you still get mana from I do, this? Yeah, so place? Uh, sites you control okay. or any sites that uh, control Are isn't like what's you. occupying it. It's anything you've played. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you take one from him attacking the square. Yep. So you you uh, to count your mana, you just count how many basically how many sites are facing you. Only attack the same site and forward. So your phalanx can only attack in this direction. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to mm, use my Avatar of Winds ability to move here, I guess, for free. And, um, and then for six mana, I am going to play the Nimbus Gen. <laughs> Okay. So, um, all right, and that's my turn. It's terrifying. Okay, uh, start of my turn. I'll draw one for my atlas for my queen's ability, and I'll draw one for my spell book. So now, could I play a relic? Um, where my apprentice, is, my apprentice wizard is yeah. now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Assuming he lives through the. Okay, so I have this is untapped. Um tap my avatar to play this simple village. You got a lot of simple villages. Get a yeah, foot you got a I'm gonna play for four mana, I have six total. I'm gonna play this house Arn Bannerman. Other near nearby allies gain plus one power. Mm, okay. So that'll let my queen uh, attack your apprentice. So she'll tap an attack. She has two power now. Uh, damage is dumped at the end of the turn, but she does have essentially one damage on her from the the apprentice attacking back there. And when I attack okay. you, you do have the option to tap untapped units that are near that are adjacent and come to block, and, but you didn't have any. So yeah, so you can block from adjacent squares. Yeah. Okay. Or adjacent. Um, uh... Airborne units can block from nearby. Okay. Phalanx is going to tap and move to here to run away from the scary specter. This Arn Bannerman has uh, got summoning sickness, so can't do anything. Um, actually, before I do that, I have this spell, and the way I think this works, <laughs> I don't even know if this works, actually. I'm going to wait on the spell, because I don't know how it works. Okay. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Oh, so I'm going to move that there. Uh, foot soldiers probably can hang out in like a defensive position. It's probably fine. And um, I'm done. 
All right, airborne just means it flies, right? Yeah. Uh, it can move, so it can I, move like there. I could move to there if I wanted yeah. to, right? Okay. All right, I am. And also, going... I can't attack. I can't target airborne units with an attack. Oh, okay. Uh, if an airborne unit's on a site, I could target the site as an attack, and you can choose whether or not you want to block with it. Okay, I gotcha. All right, I am going to draw a spell, I think. Oh, so this card seems very good. Oh, my stalker is ready. All right, so I can have my stalker move to this site, and that yeah. deals damage directly to you, right? Yeah, you attack the site. So uh, I could choose to defend with the bannerman in this case. Um, and they would die. But they would die, right? and it, but I would, I would prevent the damage to the site. Uh, I don't want to do that, so I'll just take the three. Okay. Life is a resource. Yeah. Um... All right, so I can move the Nimbus Gen in, then, right? Yep. And attack the site as well? Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. I'm attacking you with non-Euclidean geometry. Yeah, I can't deal with that. Um, all right, so I can also then use the Nimbus Gen's ability to discard a spell to deal three damage, right? Yeah. Okay. A nearby avatar, a minion. I'm going to burn you out. I'm playing... What the playing... heck? <laughs> Um. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five mana. As far as I know, you cannot move and block an attack made against a site. Uh, if you're adjacent, you can uh move and block. I'm pretty sure. If you're untapped, that is, you have to be untapped. As long as you're untapped, okay. Okay. Let me, let me make sure um, if it's against a site. Uh, it may just be against an avatar or minion. Yeah. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. So it's only if it the only if you're attacking an avatar or minion can you block. Can't block for sites. Oh, okay. I gotcha. All right. Um. So some so you summon monsters ready. Yeah. Um, but they have summoning okay. service. All right. Uh, can I summon to the square now that I've got minions in there? No, you have to still have to summon to one of your sites. Okay. Well, guess what? I can summon here anyway. Okay. With my roaming monster. <laughs> summon this minion monster to any site. So. Um, then I think I'm going to discard to the Nimbus Gen's ability, discard a spell. Yeah. This is a relic. Does that still yeah, count? Yeah, it's a spell. Uh, okay. Well, a uh, spell. I think a spell is a spell, so that's not a spell. So, okay, it, it is a relic. Spell would be like ball lightning. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Then um, no, I don't. I don't want to discard that. Then okay, all right. Um, that is my. Oh, uh, I have not used my avatar. Yep. Um, I think I want to keep it back here. Actually, maybe moving right here using my avatar's ability. To move for free, and then I'm gonna draw a uh, an atlas card. Okay, and that's my turn. Go ahead. Okay, untap my phalanx. I will untap my queen. Untap my avatar. Uh, queen's gonna draw me a spell book card. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll uh, draw one for my atlas for my turn. Oops, the two. Oh no. Um. Okay. So let's see what we got here. All right. Um, tap my avatar. Thanks for that follow slash blade. Appreciate that. I will play Vantage Hills. It's the range avatars and minions here have plus one range. I don't have there's no range oh. things yet, but there's that. Um, and then I have one, two, three, four, six, seven mana. Seven mana. I'm gonna play. Then I'm going to play the King of the Realm for mm. 7. 4 power. All other mortals gain plus 2 plat power. You control all mortals in the realm. I don't think you had any mortals, though. Uh, 
ordinary monster, exceptional spirit, an ordinary spirit. Yeah. So my my mortals are beefy now. So I'm gonna have my bannerman go and attack. I guess actually that, that would you could block with the monster in that case. Yes. And the banner's only four power. Yeah, we would trade. I wish these phalanx didn't suck. Is there some <laughs> back? Uh, I, they're pretty good power for their cost. Is they the are, thing, yeah. Right? This so. is tough to actually get value yeah. out of them, I guess. You have to, like, yeah, you gotta, like, constantly so, maneuver them so into I think position. I move them back here now. I think I run this bannerman away, because he's just gonna get killed by... On attack, it's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. If it was like pushing up to the site, uh, actually, it's probably better to yeah, it's probably better to do that then because I could eventually bring it to that site. It's only when it's attacked. Uh, it can only attack on the same site and forward. The phalanx dies without dealing damage back if it's attacked from the flank or rear. I'm gonna move the foot soldier here as well. King's hanging out. This foot soldier is hanging out. This bannerman. Like, uh, if I don't do something, you're just going to slam me for a bunch of damage against this village, though, right? Which kind of sucks. So I think I'll just attack. Uh, I will try to attack your Nimbus Jin. Okay, so I will defend with my roaming monster. Okay, so these are going to do four to each other. Yeah. And that's my turn. Actually, I'll, I'll move this foot soldier here. I think that's probably fine. Because now you can't just slam the site and uh, sacrifice foot soldier. He's, he's to, three power now, so... Yeah, I have to kill the foot soldier. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, ready, ready, ready. Draw one. I'll draw from the spell book. Okay. Um, let's see. I am. I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna move the. Yeah, I'll move the cloud city over. Scared my phalanx. Yeah. <laughs> Try walking on air, bitch. <laughs> and then, um. I am going to summon this sweet card. We're summoning the Grim Reaper. Oh, okay. Okay. He's got a void walk, and he's summoned to a random location. Okay. And when it uh, shares a location with another minion, remove both from the game entirely. All right. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. We're rolling on D20. it. 19. 19. There. Ah. Right there. Okay. It's coming for the king, baby. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. It's, it's such cool so, art, too. And you spent three mana out of your one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when it shares a location with another minion. Okay. King, get out of there. And I can't actually attack on my avatar because uh, it's in the void. Like this turn, at least. You, but you, you well, I guess to play the site, you have to tap your avatar, so it's not I would attacking, have to play right? a site there, yeah. 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 So. I could play a site there and a minion to just delete it, right? Yeah. yeah. But I would have to have those things to do. That is an out. Or like, if one of the Genesis... Uh, villages would be ideal. It's actually really hard to get damage on you because you're, you're moving around all your stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna start wiggling around, you jackass. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to... No. The Spectral Stalker. I'm going to move into the Void over here. Yeah. Okay. I'm beset all sides by these horrifying things. Um... Yep. A unique spirit we will all meet eventually. That's the card type. That's terrifying. Mm. Okay, okay, so I am going to play the Devil's Egg, I think, to this site. Because okay. I can play this relic here, right? Yeah. Because I have a minion there. And it says, at the start of your turn, the controller of the site, uh, of the site this egg is on loses two life. Okay. So I think you have to give it to uh, a minion. Okay, so, so I give it to the djinn. Yeah, the djinn would carry it, and it would drop it if it dies, and then I could pick it up and move it. Okay. All right. Um... So I can have the djinn attack this location, right? Yeah, you could stab it to attack it. And to do three? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'll do then. I'll just go ahead and shoot this site for three. Um, and then I am going to move my avatar, and I'm going to tap it to play. To go ahead and play this thing. Oh, I had to play the site so that I had enough mana to play the Devil's Egg. I needed six, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So oh, I had well, to I play think, this sorry. Eight. To, to get that. Um, okay, yeah. So I had to play that to have enough mana to play the uh, the egg. Would you play this gen the Stark Tower? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, do I want to go ahead and blast this Foot Soldier? Not convinced that I do. Um, okay, I'm am done. Go ahead. All right. I was in the tank for a little while. Let's have, this is the let's have. this is like where the game gets kind of like way more There's complicated. There's a lot of stuff right? on the table. So a lot of stuff on the table. Yeah. And... This is a lot of stuff. All right. So uh, queen, I draw from my spell book. I should have killed that queen like a hundred turns ago. I'm gonna draw from my yeah. I'm gonna draw from my spellbook again for my turn. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. I have six mana, seven mana, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will. Play this land surveyor for three. Genesis draw site. Oh. Pretty okay. good. He's good. Pretty good. Oh, yes. All right. So I'm going to tap my avatar. We're going to play the Humble Village here uh, for the foot soldier uh, and Grand yeah. Beard to explode. Yeah. I mean, seems... He's removed from the game entirely. He... Oh, he is? Yes. He says entirely removed from the game, removed entirely. Both the game entirely. Okay. Yeah. Love that. So we'll him. Um, My foot soldier is three power. So I'm going to go attack your Jin. Oh, no, it's airborne. I can't actually attack it. Right, lion can't do it. So, uh, Iron the foot soldier the will just move to this place. Okay. The phoenix or the phalanx will move here. The foot soldier is going to move here. The Kang? What's the Kang doing? He can kind of be wherever. Um, it's fine. He'll move here. I still have... Uh, I paid three. I have five mana. Because I have... Yeah, I have five mana left. Okay, so 
I have five mana left. I'm going to play the Screaming Skull onto the Land Surveyor. Okay. Okay. Uh, it can move, attack, or use Tapability as a turn to summon. So it was summoned this turn. And it's carrying the Screaming Skull. And then ah! I'm going to play Enlarge, which says an ally occupies four sites and gains plus four power until end of turn. <laughs> so... This land surveyor is now 8 power because he's buffed by the king as well. And he occupies 4 sites so he's, he's big. Um, okay. So what I think that means is that I can tap him to go here and hit one of these undefended sites for okay. 8. I think that's how that works. He's, he's okay. occupying so take, these 4 sites. Sure, so I take 8. Yeah. And then I guess at the end of turn, I choose which side he ends up on. Question mark, maybe? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Probably. He shrinks Probably. down. Yeah, so Land Surveyor is going to end up over here. Okay. I, I, I think the most of the times you can answer rules questions in this game by what would logically happen. Yeah. If you blew up... <laughs> if, honey, yeah, I blew yeah, up if, the Land Surveyor. If a, man, if a man was so large that he took up the space <laughs> of a county. So, bam. Hit your freight. Nice. Air at 12. I'm going to flip your life total upside down so we can not be upside okay, down. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, then... I have one mana left. I don't have anything to do with it. The queen can't attack anything. I've maneuvered everybody. The add large is over here. This is still tapped. Um, okay, that's my turn. All right. Uh, untap, untap, untap. Um, drawn a spell. <laughs> oh, this game. Already having too much fun. The game is designed to create just silly situations, I think. Yeah. Um, the devil egg damage. I uh, think now take it right. It start of your yes, turn. Yes, at the start of your turn, the controller of the site loses two life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Um. Are you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> Question mark. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Okay. So I am going to chain lightning. All right. Oh, no. This lightning, this lightning deals three damage to an avatar or minion near your spellcaster. So my jin, my nimbus jin here is a spellcaster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I can do three damage. I'm going to do three damage to the Queen of Midland. Yeah, she's dead. Um, and I may pay the mana cost again to repeat this effect any number of times. And the starting point must then be the last target. Okay. But must be at the last target and would target another avatar or minion. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have it arc into the king. Okay. For three. So second three damage. And then I could have... I could have it arc into him again. Is that correct? Let's it see. has to be near him. Is he near himself? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So yes, then the chain the, lightning. It says the last target or. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so be have... at the last target, and it would target another avatar. Yeah. Starting point must then be at the last target, and it would target another, another avatar. Another avatar. Minion. Okay. Another avatar. Okay. Minion? So yeah. Not... yeah. So yes, I can't okay. can't target him. Uh, so I'll just have it arc into him. Okay. You can also arc into the foot soldier um, and kill it if you want to do that. Right. Uh, I've got another spell to okay. play. So I am going to Thunderbolt to deal three damage to an avatar or minion anywhere in the realm. Okay. Um, so excess damage is dealt to the site the target is on. So mm. now it's going to shoot the king. Okay. Um, and do three. Yeah, I think, I think we, uh, Deck Edge, I think, I think that's what we came to the conclusion of. So uh, the king's going to die, and then I'm going to take two? Yes. Okay. Um... 
That's uh that All seems right. like a very good card. Thunderbolt? Yes. One That seems like a very mana, good card. One yes. Do damage. Um Okay. Seems pretty good. All right, so I can move past this foot soldier, right? With yeah. my Nimbushin. Okay. Um, then I'm going to move my Nimbushin onto you to your uh, attacker. I'm feeling or, pretty sorry, dead. To your yeah. avatar. Okay. And do three damage, I guess. Uh, you right. would take damage back. Oh. Um, that's you take fine, right? Because the, the Devil's Egg is just going to be there, It'll right? Just hang out there, yeah. Um, I accept these terms. Okay. The Nimbushin is dead. He served me well. He carried the devil egg into the... <laughs> yeah, that's... It's in the heart of my country. Into the, into the heart. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I think he had, I think the spectral stalker here just exists. He just vibes. He literally just vibes could here. Could you have bounced the chain lightning between yeah. the king and phalanx? That sounds like something you could have done, right? Yeah, says I think another, so. I think that would have worked, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been like zap, 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 zap. Yeah, that makes sense, right? It has to be another, right? It's going yeah. from one person to another. Yeah, um, that makes sense. I, I, it's logical. I, I don't see why not. But King's uh, dead actually, anyway. I think, I think the spectral stalker moves to here. Um, well, the thing, if you, uh, if you attack me, it puts me at death's door, and then I think I die when the egg happens. Uh oh oh okay. Although Death Store says uh direct damage, I don't know if losing two yeah. life is direct damage or not. Yeah. Wait, it's wait, not, for instance, it's attacking a site is not direct damage; it's indirect damage. Right. Yeah. So this is life loss. That's what I was. Uh, that's why I was wondering if I should just have the stalker chillax here. Uh, lo the term "lose life" is not in the rule book. So. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'll just leave this spectral stalker here. I'll. Uh, it'll be a, a a puzzle for you to solve. Okay. Um, at the very least, it puts me in death store at the start of your next turn. So, yeah, I'm going to move the Cloud City over that way. The phalanx. the phalanx doesn't have anywhere to move. Okay, and it is your turn. Okay, so I'm only drawing one card turn now. That's boring. I'll draw from the spell book. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, once he's at death door, though, he doesn't take any more damage for the rest of the turn. Yeah, I need a damage so. for the turn. So, this is untapped. I guess I don't know. Do I start carrying this thing out? I will. Uh, foot soldier. It's gonna go attack here for one. So uh, okay, so I'll take one. one. Uh, the land surveyor. It's gonna go to the mountain pass. Okay. And attack for two. Okay, take two. The phalanx. It's gonna go here. The I'm gonna spend six mana and play these stone gaze gorgons. Other adjacent minions are petrified. Uh, okay, so my stalker can't move then. I'm guessing can't do anything. Yeah, uh, petrified. I believe is not in the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> one can assume. One can assume that that it just can't move. Or I, I think attack. it can't. Yeah, it can't do anything. It's not here yet. Okay. It will be one day. Um, I believe they they said they have they have a rulebook update coming out pretty soon. So, okay. The avatar. I guess I start walking this egg. I mean, it's this this egg's not gonna matter. So maybe I just like walk away from danger. The egg's gonna constantly do two damage. So I don't know. I just, I think I want to say life loss probably is under indirect damage. Someone wants to ask uh, yeah, in the Discord. It doesn't sound like direct damage, right? No, so. it does not sound like direct damage. This foot soldier. This foot soldier. Oh, it's petrified. Oh, it says adjacent. It, it's not. These aren't. This foot soldier's not adjacent to it, right? Yeah, but once it moves, it'll be adjacent, and yeah. then it can no longer move. So I could send it here and attack that site. Okay, for one. take one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Did you already take it? No. I got no. it. No. Um, yeah, that's my turn. 
No, I don't untap it in turn. Your turn. All right, I'm going to draw a spell. Uh, relics, so I have to have a minion to play the relic too, is that correct? Oops. Oh god. What happened? What have I done? Oh god. I have to have a, a minion to play the relic too? Yes. Or your avatar. Okay. And can you drop the relic or whatever? How does it work? Must, well, must conjure a relic either on a site they control or on a site occupied by their avatar. Okay, so you can play it on a site. Okay. You can, you can play it, uh, carried by one of your minions or your avatar. All right, so... And I do I go to am... zero now, because of the egg. Yeah. Um... All right, so I am going to summon the Doomsday device okay. into this corner over here. All right. And it enters play with three counters on it. Okay. That's, that is... Direct damage, I imagine. If it does the damage, it so, says dealing splash damage. If it dealing splash damage, it deals no damage if burrowed or submerged. <laughs> I have to bury it. Okay. Um, all right. So I am going to use my free move to move to here, and then I can tap to move right with my avatar, just like any yep. other unit. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to use my Cloud City to escape. Ugh. Um, and then I will play the Snow Leopard. This is the Leopard, my child. His temper is anything but mild. The Leopard can't change his spots. So say the Gale of the Mountaintop is why he is so wild. Very cool. The, All right. the doomsday counter. Ah. The doomsday counters. <laughs> you better evac. I can't evac the whole board. It's literally <laughs> the whole board, right? It's looking um, like more than the whole board. It's five by five. The board is four by five. It's 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 from the cent. It's where it is. Oh, it's okay, from okay. Where, so where it is right it now. Is if I'm three away, I'm safe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Untap stuff. Untap Phalanx. Okay. So, start my turn. I'll draw from my spell book. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going to tap my avatar to draw a uh, sight. I will... This land surveyor. I... I get to go pick up the Doomsday device and like, carry it at you, which is pretty okay. funny. So I think he will go over here and hit that sight. Okay, so take two. Yep. This Lancer Air is all I got, man. He's my only hope. Oh, I didn't untap this Foot Soldier. Um, This Foot Soldier will attack this site. Oh, he can't. He's petrified. Minus he can, he's petrified. Uh, yeah. This one will attack this site, though. Minus one. I will play... Entangle Terrain here. It says play... Contra the intersection of one of two or four sites of which at least one site is an earth site. Minions on affected site lose airborne and are immobile. Ah, okay. So at the intersection of two or four sites. So yeah. it has to be there because there's not a site like that. It would there. be here. Yeah. All right. So my snow leopard is immobile. Minions on affected sites lose airborne and immobile. The problem is I think Cloud City can still float. So I think I can't yeah. do that. I guess that's useless. Stupid Cloud City, man. That thing is broken. <laughs> it's floating all around the place, can't get anywhere. Yeah. It's dumb. Uh, I will play then with my eight mana. The Midland Army. 
Oh god. This army must be summoned on any of the two middle sites to carry a ranged attacks on enemies on any site in the realm. Jeez. It is eight power. Good lord. It's a beefy boy. Against enemies. So it can attack your avatar too for eight. It can just dome you for eight. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, This phalanx, I think, stays here. The gorgons are fine here because they're locking down your stalker. I don't think it's only three they attack for. So uh, I am done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. On top. And then draw. Uh, I think I need a spell here. So my doomsday device counts down. Oh, geez. The start of the turn, right? Yeah. This Lancer Bear is just like going to be frantically smashing the site, watching the Doomsday <laughs> Counter tick down, knowing that's the end of days. All right, we're summoning the thunderstorm. Oh, jeez. Here comes the boom. Three counters on it. At the end of each, at the end of your turn, remove a counter from it. Then th this thunderstorm deals three damage to an enemy on an affected site. Excess damage is dealt to the site the target is on. When this thunderstorm has no counters to spell. Okay. At least damage to the site doesn't matter. Remove a counter. This thunderstorm deals three damage to an enemy on an, an affected site. Okay. That seems pretty good, too. My Gorgons. Okay. So I am. Um, I'm going to use my. Oh, I'm going to use my free move to move to here. And then I'm going to move to here. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. And I'm going to lightning bolt the Gorgons. Okay. All right. So I'll untap. I'll draw a spell. Oh man, that's a cool ass minion, by the way. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, now I'm boxed in. It's not good. Um, I do have my Midland army. It could at least put your guy at death's door. If you if you're at death's door and you attack me with her, with both I guys? guess it's a draw. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine so. I mean, I think that's the play because if I if I shoot this guy, if I shoot the stalker, then you just attack me with Avatar win. And win the game. If I shoot your avatar though, you'd have to kill me with the stalker. So I'll exhaust middle army to range attack the avatar for eight. Yep, I'm a death door. Okay. Phalanx is going to exhaust and go here. Uh, he's like right to the thunderstorm. Chill. Eddie, please. Please. Eddie, chill. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. Eddie, why? Stop. Please. Please. What soldier is going to march? Eddie, come on, please. Land surveyor, bud. 
Why? 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 What's the deal? Tell me why. What's the deal, dog? Tell me why right now. Airborne? Okay, so now is the time. I'm going to play the simple village with a foot soldier. I'm going to enlarge terrain here. So things are immobile and lose airborne. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I spent four, so I have five mana left. I'll play. These Amazon warriors here. There's five or six power. Yeah. Ordinary mythics. They're not mortals. They're mythics. Mythics. Yep. Amazon.com warriors. Um, something sickness. Something sickness. The land surveyor. I guess just. Marches over here, runs away, from, tries to use the last of his life to run away from this bomb. Um, Foot Soldier's not scared. He's going to go over there. Foot Soldier's going to carry it away. Yeah. It's not going to be much good, but it's fine. All right, I'm done. All right, Doomsday device counts down. I'm going to draw one, untap, uh, draw one from my spell book. Is uh here's my question, Justin. Yeah. Is Thunderbolt direct damage? <laughs> I think so. I think sp I would say spells probably are, okay. right? This Thunderbolt deals three damage to an avatar or minion anywhere in the realm. De dealing damage to an avatar, I feel like is direct damage, right? Zap. I'm dead. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think so. And Paco thinks so. Yeah. And uh, the classic in the classic red deck fashion. I top bolt the lightning bolt. You to top decked it. Oh man. That card is so good, right? Yeah, it's really good. That's all right. It's, it's so really, good. The, yeah. Should have taken the draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was close. I mean, the game ended up closer than I thought, right? Because, like, I could have well, killed next your, turn. Your, your units were, like, crazy better than mine. My spells, I think, were better spells than yours. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, I, like... It makes sense for, like, Earth to um, have... Uh, look at this dude, by the way. Fudge Butcher. He's Gosh. immobile. He's he tarping. taps to hook one of the closest minions in any cardinal direction, dragging it to his location if it's an enemy that attacks it. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, so cool. <laughs> He's roadhogging him. Yeah. Sick. Oh, man. All right, there you go. That's the game. Yeah. That is Sorcery uh, TCG. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Uh, this game is pretty great. Yeah. Um, it, it was very tactical, right? Yeah, it's extremely tactical. It's like, probably like... Uh, I, There's I a lot to, of like, to... outmaneuvering you can do that we didn't really get into because we weren't. Really, yeah, I well, wasn't thinking a ton about where I was placing stuff. But yeah, I um, uh, the void walk obviously more powerful earlier in the game, but then like falls off as mm -hmm. the game goes on. There's right. more terrain around. Um, and then I basically was like gonna have to use my um invulnerability period because I could not run from the the big army and i had no way to kill it right yeah let me see what so was in the earth I, deck actually that i did not get to play you could do the same thing with the wind deck if you want sure since i think we'll just play we'll just have to keep the stream of that one game uh if we wanted to do another stream we could play the other two decks right yeah. we have plenty of time until the game actually comes out so there's this uh this waypoint portal card here um two locations are adjacent for movement that seems really so good yeah, right. so you can, I, yeah, you could like Cloud Castle. I, I honestly, I, I probably made a mistake with my placement early, right? Because I cut my Cloud Castle off. Oh, I yeah. I could have had my Cloud Castle was like just, moving along the outside. Oh, yeah. It was stuck just bouncing yeah. like in those two spaces. Yeah, I could bounce it between those two. It, it could only go to adjacent places. So, hmm. um, yeah. Okay, so there was this. Range plus one spellcaster tower bound spire. That thing is so cool. Yeah, it looks badass. It's it's got to be the same artist as the Grim Reaper. Are you forced right? to decide if you want to move the avatar or draw? Uh, no. So the avatar can 
move uh, for free. The wind avatar can move for free on its turn as yes, long as if I'm on a wind, wind site. site. Yeah. So the previous turn, I started on the the wind site. I got to move for free, and then I got to uh, move for free into Justin Square. Then use my turn tap move to move uh, uh, in to basically set up the draw. And the you, worst. you always draw a card at the start of your turn from either your atlas or your spellbook. But the avatar can yeah. also uh, optionally tap to draw a site uh, instead of playing one. Uh, sling pixies. The sling pixies are immune to the uh, the army. The oh, army yes. cannot crush these sling pixies. Tower bound means so. it, if if it's not in a tower site, it, it dies. So like, yeah, so uh, that's lone tower is a tower uh, site. There were a bunch of a bunch of the air locations are towers, right? Yeah. Um, so lone tower. Uh, so there were three towers, and there's a gothic tower times mm, three crazy. in the. Uh, and then there's the Dark Tower, um, Stephen King, oh, yeah. I which there were three book. of, and then Cloud City. Bottomless Pit. And That's... then the Bottomless Pit. Well, only airborne minions can traverse the site. That's a really so interesting I tactical could... site, too. It doesn't give you a threshold. Um, yeah. But in a, mono, but could... in a mono element deck, it probably doesn't matter that much. Yeah, so I could I could dump it in front of me just to keep your uh, like your phalanx from advancing all the way forward, yeah. right? So. That's just so yeah, cool. Yeah, you, you always have the option to tap the avatar to play or draw a site. Um, and the tapping it to draw sites was pretty uh, important for me in the mid game because I was like having to just like because you got the, all those extra card value. Yeah. Yeah. I had the lightning bolt for a long time and I was like, I should just use this uh, to kill her. Yeah. Um, but I was hoping to like get a free kill on her, but you kept buffing her power outside of the stuff that I could kill it with. Yeah. And I was like, ah! All right, I got the Spear of Destiny here. Four power relic. Ooh. The bearer of the spear has tap, throw the spear in a cardinal direction. It continues to move until it reaches the edge of the realm or a site with minions. If it reaches any site with any minions, kill a minion of your choice there. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's, uh, but that means the other team could then pick yes, it up. It hangs like, out there, right? <laughs> Which is cool. The Siege Ballista... I, I, Tap, tap this, an allied minion here. The ballista deals three range combat damage to an avatar or minion up to two steps away in any cardinal direction. The ballista can't be picked up, but an avatar or minion may carry it as it moves. Um, I was going to say, so yesterday when I was talking about how this game felt like spiritually opposed to flesh and blood, right. um, like, whereas flesh and blood is like, we want a tight, competitive game. Right, this is not that. Game. And, the, and this game is like, Throw the lance of Loginus into your opponent. <laughs> it's right? like, do you like, really? <laughs> what? How much wacky fun stuff can we get away with printing in the game? Right? Yeah, yeah. Without it being um, not fun. It's and I, and I, and I the 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 fact that both of these games appeal to me. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh. Uh. Just they they speak to the different card game type player. In oh, me, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Like we You're we right. like both yeah. times of games for different reasons. You know. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to play this sweet looking plume Pegasus. That's very sweet looking. It's just an airborne. It's a three three power flyer for three. Yeah. Also, so. it's beautiful. Oh dang! Airborne haste and void walk, and it can move anywhere. For, move freely means yeah. it can move literally anywhere. Wow. Nightmare. This thing is expensive. When traverses a location, other nearby minions except demons, spirits, and undead move one step away. Everything runs it's from scaring it. Scaring people. Yeah, it's, uh. that's cool. What else do I have? Mountain I had giant. This rogue. I actually needed these rogues to fight the uh, the army, right? Because oh, yeah. these rogues because have lethal. Snuck in and stabbed them. Yeah. The power is also the health, like Keyforge. Yep. Uh, Mountain giant has iron skin, which means you have to do double its power and damage to kill it. Oh. It occupies so four sites. Eight, ten. Yes, you have to do 10 damage to it to kill it. Could you lightning bolt it yeah. twice for 6 to kill it? Or I'll, is I'll it I have so. to do 10 spell damage? It says 10 total damage. Okay. The damage, like, damage persists time. until okay. the end of turn. So. Oh, but everybody can attack it, Everyone right? can attack because it, yeah. Bad, but, yeah. It's just doing okay. six or doing 5 damage back all the time. The, the Headless Haunt art is awesome Ooh. looking, by the way. I don't know if you're showing that off. Yeah. But man, oh yeah. Look look how look how badass this is. An exceptional spirit of like, time and space. You know, you could spirit destiny at once. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's that's the uh, <laughs> that's the argument against literally every minion in dies this game. Like, dies spirit destiny. Dies, dies spirit. to it's not uh, the good. Grim Reaper. Dies, it dies to yeah. 
Grim Reaper kills this, dies the Spear of Destiny. Is there every are, minion in the game. They're indestructible creatures, okay? Indestructible creatures can't die to damage, right? But I think Grim Reaper kills it. I think so Spirit remove it from the game yeah, entirely. But I don't right? think Spirit of like, Destiny kills indestructible creatures. However, an interesting interaction is if you bury them, they can't do anything. You get so if the just character stuck is indestructible. Yeah. You just nice push them underground. A, yeah. Nice job being immortal. You just encase them in a block of cement and throw them in the lake. Which is really funny. <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah. You just do the vampire shit to them. I'll just bury you under running it's, water. It's the same deal because uh, water sites, uh, you have keywords, the keyword submerge, so you can you can dive down, basically. Uh, and there's a card that submerges stuff that's on water, water sites. And if they don't have submerge, they die. But if they're indestructible, they're just stuck down there. Same deal as like being buried. So you uh, just throw them in the ocean. Are there... Here's the next question. Are there multiplayer rules for this game? There are. There's rules for 1v1v1. I think you just play with a 6x6 six six grid. Uh, with I mean, four players. Yeah. There's also 2v2 uh, rules. Oh, nah, man. That's with a 6x6 six six grid, and you just, like, have a partner. Okay. that Those those have got to be dope. Uh, this is... this. This is uh, <laughs> one of those rare board games that like plays more like uh, sorry a card game that plays more like a board game, right? Yeah, it's 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 um, a board game. I think it's closer to a board game than a lot of other card yeah. games. Uh, I think yeah. I think you can justify this purchase by saying you're buying art because like these things are just yeah. gorgeous. Like every art piece is lovingly crafted. I think yeah, every art they're piece. Yeah, insane. I, I, so the 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 ten thousand dollar they're all gone now but the ten thousand dollar backer pieces had the original art for the avatar yeah, like the actual paintings, yeah uh which is i think insane value right because yeah. not only do you get a like a stack of cards but you also get original art right yeah so i think if you um, if you if you spiritually treat this more like a board game than a competitive tcg you'll have a way more fun with it yeah because right? when yeah. you pick up a board game to play you're not like i'm gonna win i have to have the best deck yeah no you want to have fun yeah. right with your friends so yeah um the uh <laughs> yeah well the, the that's the that's the thing about ccgs is like there's actual tangible the, like ccg cards have a tangible use outside of just existing on the blockchain right yeah this um, uh this reminds me of when I, I would play magic as a kid and i would be like dude there's this one card in my deck and i have one of it and when i play it it's the most it's the literal most fun thing ever and it's like yeah. one of every five games you get to do that thing you play like flame wave yeah. or whatever and yeah you're just like so happy <laughs> yeah this game i was uh i was really pleased with like how how fun this was the so. doomsday device ticking down the thunderstorm hanging out just a lot of really cool stuff happening and that's just yeah. in the first game we played with like a, very, a small fraction of the cards control the or uh ctf capture the flag very impossible that that would be possible right you have like a relic you'd have to pick carry and minions just dying with it all the time that would actually be possibly very fun I'm not yeah, I, I can see. You, there's like, there's like definitely objective based play that you could add to this game, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, anything that fits into some sort of tactical, tactical, like position heavy uh, capture the flag is absolutely seems like it's in the realm of possibility. For if you it, just so. like, if you say the flag starts in between these two middle sites, right? And yeah, or like out here or something. Or you you have a flag, the they same have to carry to your opponent's flag, base, but... like you have your base yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that that would be interesting. Yeah, something along those lines. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's whatever, right? Like, yeah. it's just, yeah. You could do, like, so. there's, like, probably a lot of homebrew stuff you could do with this, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially since the this, the release schedule for this game is going to be relatively slow. Yeah, they said, I think they, said that is, they were, I think they were initially playing for one set a year, one very large the, set, because of how long it takes for the art to get commissioned. This is all, all this art hand-painted, so. Yeah. Which is just kind of insane, right? It like, is insane, yeah. Yeah. But a yearly release for this game, like that, that's more like a board game expansion, right? And I think that's something Surely. you would look forward to. You'd, you'd pick it up and play for a few, uh, few weeks or months when it first comes mm -hmm. out, and you'd look forward to the next set coming out, and you'd shelve it, and you'd yeah. enjoy the beautiful artwork in your collection. I, there probably will still be tournaments for this. I mean, it's it's a card game, so it's going to have tournaments, and yeah. that's fine. Yeah, like, there'll, probably, there'll be competitive players, play. and I think that can exist as I, well. I'm, yeah, I mean, there's going to be there's going to be people who play like absolutely the most broken stuff, but. Yeah. Uh, I think the game is designed in such a way that that's not entirely feasible every game because, like, a right. lot of the more powerful cards, you can only have one copy of, right? Yo, so look at this card right here, though. <laughs> this crater eyes. <laughs> Destroy a site without an avatar and everything on it. Deal splash and damage deal, around the destroyed you site. The, 
you're uh, you're a keyring. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're doing the the scene from the movie uh, Akira. Yeah, you just crater as it. That is so neato. Yeah, that's so cool. It's dope. Elite magic of cataclysmic proportions. Cave trolls. They got burrowing. Uh, we didn't talk about burrowing, but it's just like you you can play it under the site when they play, and they can tap to go above it. But while they're burrowed, they can't be targeted by stuff. Uh, you're limited by, like, you can't move to another site if you're burrowed, so they would have to tap to, like, surface first. And then they could go move. And then they could go somewhere, yeah. Bury. I wanted to bury the, the Doomsday device. <laughs> that would have been funny. That's a, That seems like a very good card, because if they don't it have... Just, it just goes off underneath the surface. Yeah. So, so like, it, it's... You you hurt locker it. You had the foot the foot soldier move in to hurt locker yeah. the uh, the dude's device. But the cool thing is like you, you can bury like I could bury the spiral itch and then it just can't it can't get out of the ground. Yeah, it's just stuck there. So that seems like a really good card. I have a unicorn, autumn unicorn. Ordinary magic one hopes to never experience. Yeah, no, not a big fan of being buried alive. Atlas wanderer, look at this guy. Uh, three power, but iron skin. The waters can move to avoid carrying the site they're on and everything on it as they move. That's really neat, I think. Mm, they just carry the okay. entire land with them. Yeah. Now oh, that was my deck. Blink. Oh. Oh, it took it took me a second, but I realized that the Amazon warriors are twice the size of the women oh. of the other women in the picture. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh man, if I wasn't excited for this game before. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty fun now. experience, right? Like yeah, that it was, was really fun. Like the game was close. Yeah. It it didn't look close like it, uh, a turn two before it ended, but yeah, then it only takes like, a couple it bombs, got right? really close. I think that's the nature of playing oh, your cost spells. There was nowhere for me to hide from that army, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I, what was I gonna do? Just blasting so, you. Yeah. And all my little foot soldiers were spreading out across the realm. Hunting me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that was, that was that was uh that was pretty dope. All right, well that's the that's the stream. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, you, everybody. The no. Kickstarter is live now, so if you wanted to back yeah. the thing, I this is, this is completely unplayed. I completely unpaid for yeah, us. We, right, this we weren't asked to do this or anything. Pure, pure excitement for the game. Just yeah. pure. We want to play a a new card game. Um, slash board game. Yeah, if you uh, thanks for the follow by the way. So we we normally play uh, KeyForge. Maybe it's free. Oh hey, uh, we'll get a, a treat. We normally play KeyForge, um, Gloomhaven, and Flesh and Blood right now as our three streams a week. This was sort of like a bonus stream because I really wanted to play Sorcery. Mm -hmm. So all right, let's get a yeah. treat. We got we got a little bit of flex time throughout the week. So in this case, uh, uh, we we flexed into tonight. How do I change my pick? I don't know. My it was my, there and then my Discord was gone. Is, is very upset. Oh, <laughs> close out a TTS. Let's see if that. Does oh yeah, it. that's probably a good idea. Actually, all right, leaving the app. I'm gonna start. Uh, TTS is gonna start singing to you. I I disabled that. It's uh. <laughs> we don't we don't play with that crap around here. Is it in another screen? Why? Why? It just doesn't work. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn off my video real quick. I'm going to close out. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I know we're talking. Look, I'm going to get Eddie a treat. Don't worry. Or, uh, I will pantomime Eddie getting a treat. Let's just look at uh I'm gonna blow up the chat so where you can see where Matrani says all my fault and it's gonna be the entire stream right now. That's <laughs> all. That's gonna be all of this on the and stream. And we will stream that for the next 14 hours. Hours, yeah. Um I'm just gonna give Eddie a treat and you can hear it happen. How about that? And I'll show you Eddie bonus on, on Sunday. I think the background filter tries to filter out Eddie if he's like nearby. 
Yeah, that's all right. I am currently handing Eddie a treat. Listen, close. Do you hear it? All right, there you go. It probably you get to see it. a little bit of the Eddie Snoot <laughs> there. <laughs> no. Andrew's Andrew's trying to get Stop. banned. All right, the thanks for watching. Trying to get himself banned. We'll be back on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, appreciate everybody hanging out. This is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, go check out the Kickstarter if you're interested at all, for sure. All right, goodbye. Yep. See ya.